Hi everyone. Lately I've had quite a bit of inquiries about um, augmented reality and how to use it as a physical educator and also the Daiquiri 40 Studio. That That's what we're looking at right here. So what I'd like to do is kind of take you through the process of making a target um, and adding in several different buttons and so forth. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to decide what that you would like your target to be. Um, in my case, I really have been uh, enjoying using the program Comic Life to develop my targets. So, this is the program Target, or excuse me, Comic Life. And what's important uh, to know as well is your targets cannot look similar at all. So, I've had a, a past target um, that was very similar um, to it's another cognitive assessment that I've developed and it looked and I tried to develop another target and it, it failed to upload because the target looked too much like the other one so what I've done is I've changed um, the whole look of uh, this specific uh, comic life that I've developed to ensure that it won't uh, fail to upload so what you're going to do is you're going to go to add content and in my case this is a poster so we're going to click poster alright now this is an easy click and drag process alright so you click drag and you're going to push next here alright now here if you're collaborating with individuals you just add them here and they have access um, to what you're doing and you can work together in my case I won't be doing that so there's no need for that so we push save all right, now when we push save, it's going to take about 30 seconds to upload. All right, so once you've uploaded your target, you're going to see a green circle that says ready. When you get done, you'll see a green circle that says live. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this blue button that says designer, and it will take you to the 40s studio, and here is your target. So over here on the left side of the screen is all your different options that can become the overlay for your specific target. So in my case, this is an assessment and it's a multiple choice assessment. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the button option. So I click and drag a button. All right, now I can resize the button any way that I would like. Now, if you look over here on the right side of the screen, a bunch of options um, came up. Now. Um, it's important to rename your button so you can tell the difference between um, your different buttons. So I'm going to name this Cardiovascular Endurance. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look down here and it says drag and drop files here. So I've created uh, using Comic Life my buttons. I cropped um, specific portions of the Comic Life and made it into um, my buttons. So if I look over here, I have muscular endurance, so this is what they look like. And right here, I have cardiovascular fitness or endurance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this, and I'm going to drag it and drop it there. All right, so there's my button. All right, so the next thing is I have to tell the button what I want it to do. So what I want this button to do is lead to a different chapter. All right. So if you look up here, we're in chapter one. And so what we're going to do is push the plus sign. Okay. So when we push the plus sign, we've created a new chapter. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you look here, it says redirect to a chapter or a URL. In my case, it's going to go to a chapter. So there we go. I'm going to redirect it to chapter two. All right. So once it gets to chapter two, it needs to do something. So what I'm going to have it do is tell the student that this specific answer is incorrect. So I'm going to do this by creating another button, dropping it here, making it a little bit bigger and easy to see. Going back here. All right. Now I've created a uh, Comic Life um, picture here. It says, whoops. That's incorrect, no problem, just try again. So I'm going to place that here. 
All right, it's ready to go. So once you get to this point, I've created um, one answer to my assessment. What you need to do is uh, make sure that everything's working out. And before I do that, can't forget to rename this button. All right, so the way that I do that to make sure that everything's correct is I'm going to first save. All right, and down here it'll say, tell me I saved. It saved, and then I'm going to push the publish button. All right, so as you can see here, the start, the target's still processing. So it, once it gets done, I can show All you. Right. So once we've given our target just a few minutes, let's go ahead and um, try to publish it again. All right, so we hit the publish button. It says save successfully. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check to make sure that everything's working correctly before I go any further um, in designing my target. So over here is my iPhone. So um, because this is published, I can go ahead and open up the Daiquiri app here and then scan it. So that's what I'm going to do right now just to make sure everything is working correctly. All right. So this says cardiovascular fitness, which is the first button I, I created. So I push it with my thumb and it says, whoops, that's incorrect. So that's just an, an easy way to make sure that uh, your buttons are working. So another feature I wanted to show you real quickly before we move on is that um, when I push cardiovascular fitness, it takes me to the wrong answer, right? So <clears throat> what you can do is, so I've programmed this button to take me back to chapter one. So all students have to do is push, that's incorrect, and it takes them back so they can um, redo the All right, so I've gone ahead and um, added another button to um, the first chapter, and I just wanted to show you a quick little easy trick that you do. Um, so say, for instance, you want to reuse um, this button. Whoops, the answer is incorrect. So what you would do is <clears throat> I've gone ahead and linked um, this button to chapter three. So I go ahead and I go to chapter three. So what I'm going to do here is watch. I'll just click whoops and then um, it appears there. So that enables you not to have to um, continue to make more and more buttons. You could reuse your buttons. All right, quickly I just wanted to show you how to add sound to your target. So um, I'm on a page where the student gets the answer correct and I want to reinforce that a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. I'm going to drop it here and it says audio file. Um, so you'll notice here that this says mp3. You must convert um, your iTunes library or whatever source you're using for your music to mp3s. And if you're interested in doing that, you can just simply Google convert to mp3 on iTunes. Um, and it should help you out or I can help you with that as well. So I've got my sound effect here that I've converted to an mp3. All right, so I just drag and drop. All right, then before it'll work, I just go to publish again to check to see right, if it works. I want to give you a quick glimpse of what it looks like uh, when we added sound. The next thing that I'd like to show you is how to um, connect a YouTube or a Vimeo um, to your specific target. Now keep in mind, if you add a YouTube or a Vimeo, I've only been able to add one YouTube per target or one Vimeo. However, you can add one YouTube and then a Vimeo, so that would be two different videos. And then this over here would be your own video, so say if you make one in iMovie or another place. So, what you're going to do is you're first going to create another button. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click and drag here. All right, now what we're gonna do is I've created um, a demo button in Comic Life. So go ahead and get that going. So I'm going to place it in chapter five. So again, I'll just name this button real quick. And then link this to chapter five. All right. So once I do that, I go into chapter five and then I hit YouTube.
All right. So I've slow push up video here. So um, I just searched on YouTube. So I'm going to go back to the studio and we're going to name this push up. All right. So I put it in the URL and then we are good to go. So I go to save and then it'll take a second. Oh. All right. I just wanted to quickly show you what um, this should look like when you um, attach a YouTube video to your overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and push the demo. All right. And it's going to pop open here and it should automatically play just like that. All right, everyone. That's it for my Daiquiri tutorial. Um, I didn't cover everything, obviously, but I hope that's enough to get you started and let me know if you have any questions.